Hey guys, it's Danielle back here today with um, my wax empties from August 28th to September 11th today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with first the non-wax empties that I have. Uh, the first one is Peppermint Moisturizing Foot Mask. I got this from Marshalls for $4.99 for three of them. I actually really did enjoy these. Um, I use them along with like using face mask, so like total relaxation. These were really nice. I would repurchase these. They left my feet feeling like really nourished and they were perfect to do before bedtime. Uh, I finished If You Shea So by um, Bath and Body Works. Um, like a lot of people have said on YouTube before, this doesn't really say like what they do but I did feel like it did nourish my face and it left my face feeling nice and soft afterwards so I would repurchase that uh all right let's go ahead and do wax empties first is an empty from the scented squirrel blackberry jam and marshmallow fireside this was a sample of course as you can see this was really nice berry with like a marshmallow. It was good. Um, it wasn't very strong though and I think that's just because it was just a small little sample. I currently just put this in my bathroom. Avo Spa and Sunny Lemon from uh, samples from Barrett's Wax Crafts. I'm trying to work on getting through um, samples from vendors just to try them out and see if I like the scent. I know I love both of these scents so I wanted to try them together and it's just fresh and clean in my bathroom right now. It smells so good. Uh, let's see. I finished Calypso Melon, Honeydew Melon, Granny Smith, Apple, Strawberry, and Pear by Destination Wax. It was in the four blocks, um, and I melt, melt one block at a time, of course. You definitely don't need two blocks from, uh, from Destination Wax, excuse me. This was a really nice, um like a fruity melon type scent. This is a really nice one to also blend with other scents. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what I've blended that with, but it's a good blender too. Um, I finished a small little sample from Little Olive Tree, Passion and Lime, Tropical Passion Fruit, Blood Orange, Orange Zest, Lemon, Sweet Moscato Wine, Bird of Paradise Blooms, Coconut Wood Musk, Driftwood, Vanilla and Lime. This is a lot of stuff in this little sample. Um, this was kind of light. Once again, it was just a super tiny little sample, so, but on cold, it smelled really good. And another sample from Little Olive Tree is Cotton Candy Ginger Ale. This one was really nice, bubbly, um, fruity scent. I did enjoy that. I'm very proud of myself. I finally finished up a loaf from Designer Wax, Golden Sands, Freshly Squeezed Oranges, and Blue Lagoon. This was a really nice, clean, fruity scent but it was a little light but I melted this one in my bathroom and then in my bedroom at nighttime. It was good but it was a little light for me. Um, let's get through some scent shots. I'm currently melting this one in my bedroom by Little Olive Tree, Some Bunny Loves You, Sweet Lavender, Blackberries, uh, Raspberries, and Sugar Cookies. This is just a really nice um, fruity, like a lavender fruity scent. It's beautiful. It is like a light on the lighter throw, but I do enjoy what I what I can smell. Let's see. Oh, it's not focusing. Uh, let's try that. I don't want to focus, guys. Dreamland sweet lavender and flannel sheets. I met, melted this one in my bathroom. And it was really good. It was a medium uh, throw for me. I did enjoy that one. Uh, this one is Blue Sugar and Blackberry Mint Spritzer. This one was actually kind of, um, not light, it was a medium throw. I did think it would be stronger, but it is beautiful, like a minty berry scent. It's gorgeous, but it was a light one for me. Um, okay, got a lot of designer wax that I finished up from last month. 
uh, Shirley Temple. This was a nice fizzy fruity scent. Smelled just like a Shirley Temple, of course. Uh, I wish this would focus better. Uh, pistachio Cracker Jacks and Strawberry Shortcake. This was very strong on the pistachio. Beautiful scent. Would definitely repurchase. Pink Lemonade Frozen Margarita. This one was really nice. It was kind of lighter for me, so I actually mixed it with Shirley Temple. Lavender Snickerdoodles. Um, this was a like a bakery lavender. Um, I'm not a huge fan of bakery lav like bakery mix with lavender. I like it, but it's not like my top favorite, so I probably wouldn't repurchase that one again. Uh, Monkey Bread. I cannot read this small writing. Uh, Bite-sized chunks of biscuit dough dusted with cinnamon sugar, brown sugar, melted butter, butter, butter and maple syrup. Um, this was a really nice spicy doughy like bread scent. I would, I think I have one more of these, but I would repurchase this. It, it was really good. I'm going to just try and get through, I guess, all the designer wax I have first. My gosh, I finished up a lot from her again this month. Black Sea Fresh Bamboo. This is a beautiful, fresh, clean scent. I love this one. It's always strong. I tend to put this one more often in my bathroom just because I love the way how it smells in the bathroom in a smaller space. Avocado and Olive. I've talked about this one time and time again. I've repurchased this one, I think, like six or seven times. Um, I love this one. It's a little bit lighter, but it's a really beautiful, fresh, clean scent for the bathroom wasabi this one's delicious it's like a spicy um earthy scent i love this one would repurchase this uh clean cotton and lavender mint this is more of my type of lavender this is a fresh clean lavender i love uh lavender and cotton together it smells gorgeous home sweet home is cinnamon baking spices and freshly poured tea Oh, this is so good. Um, it smells strong on, of course, the baking spices, but with the tea, it was like a chai tea. It was gorgeous. Love that one. Oh, random candle. I finished a candle. A Yankee candle. Lavender vanilla. I finished this one in my bathroom. I had a Luma lid on top of it, of course, but it still leaves some grudge on the side, but that doesn't really bother me very much but beautiful packaging look how pretty that is this was really light i would i would repurchase it maybe again um but not in such a large candle i would probably get it something a lot smaller um i finished cotton candy fresh fallen rain and grapefruit i used this one in the restroom uh, it was really fresh and clean and very tart from the grapefruit. I would repurchase that one again. Um, I mixed these two together from Destination Wax, Coffee Black, and Pralines and Popcorn. These two were um, samples that she sends when you order. Coffee Black is really strong, but surprisingly with Pralines and Popcorn, you still could smell it. I love getting samples from her because it allows you to mix her wax. Her wax is so much fun to mix and match with because you find these scents that you would have never thought to mix with. Um, but Pralines and Popcorn had like, I didn't really personally smell the popcorn, which I was kind of glad about because I'm not a huge popcorn person, but I thought that this Pralines and Popcorn added a little bit of like a caramel type note to the coffee black and it gave it like this creamy caramel black coffee slightly it was really really good um i don't know if she still makes pralines and popcorn i think it's a discontinued scent because i'm not sure if she was able to get the scent oils again i don't 100 percent remember on that um but if she ever is able to either recreate or rebring the scent out i would definitely Mix, try mixing these two and if you do have these two scents in your collection it's actually really really good i finished leaves the bath and body works dupe uh like a apple cinnamon type cider scent love this one cannot rave about it enough it smells just like the um the candle from bath and body works not gonna lie i finished quite a few of these 
um, scent shots from Small Kind Creations. Um, her wax is 100% soy. This one's like a coconutty. I did finish two of two of those. Honestly, I'm really not. I hate to say this, but like for me in my house personally, I've tried this on. Um, uh, oh my gosh, hot plate warmers and on light bulb warmers and I think the hot plate is a 20 watt and then I can't remember what the um, light bulb is. I cannot remember which one. But her wax for some reason is not throwing for me very well so I'm just honestly trying to just kind of get through them. So those, that's those. Um, I've done quite a bit of scented squirrel this month. Uh, sea Vixen grapefruit, lemongrass, and salty sea air. This was a really nice uh, tart scent, of course, from the grapefruit, but you also got that subtlety from the lemongrass. It was really beautiful. I love that one. Another one I really enjoyed, Oregon Haze Cannabis Flowers and Bamboo Hemp. This was a nice... You got the cannabis flowers, like 40%, but like you got that bamboo, like watery type kind of note to me, actually. It smelled kind of watery in the background and I actually really really love that one too. Um, love Spell and Vanilla Lace. I don't know why I'm so shaky. Um, this one was nice. It was a little bit lighter. Uh, oh I love this one. Empire Alchemy Wild Aloha Wild Madagascar Vanilla Coconut Water Coconut Bamboo and Vevetier. Oh, It smells like coconut uh, lotion. Like, it's just, oh my god. If I could get this in a, I don't normally buy Lowe's. I'm not a huge fan of Lowe's, but if I could buy this in a loaf, I would. It's perfect. Um, I mixed, finished these two. Lemon Verbena and Sea Island Grapefruit. I cut both of these in half and melted half and half together. This was a really beautiful, um, fruity clean scent like if you just vacuumed or just cleaned your house or something this one was really nice in the bathroom and the kitchen I did that yeah, I believe I did this one in the kitchen and the bathroom and I loved it okay oh goodness got more from designer wax cherry slushy wild berry lemonade this was a really nice uh fruity scent I would repurchase that one lakeside breeze um I'm trying to remember this one. A lot of these I started last month when I was trying to do a challenge for her. Um, but then my goal was to finish them up, you know, this uh, coming time just to kind of, you know, I don't like partially use clams. I like to just get rid, you know, get them done. I loved this one. I would repurchase Fresh Cut Grass and Satsuma White Tea. This one was really, really strong and I loved it. You got... 50 50 50 fresh satsuma and then 50 of that fresh cut grass it was ugh, perfect uh bluebeard by l3 uh blue sugar savory bakery and pistachio is the scent notes for this oh my god <laughs> i'm not a fan of this i guess because when i melted it i was like oh good lord i don't think blue sugar and pistachio together are my thing i love them by themselves i together no not so much but I gave it a try. Definitely gave it a try. Um, finished ba the Pagan Moon from the Bathing Garden. This is apple, pear, strawberry, and fall leaves. This one was actually really good, but it was really light. So when I could smell it, I loved it, but it was really light. I would not repurchase. Sophia from Super Tarts. Pear gelato topped with uh, sweet blackberry, blackberry preserves. This one was so beautiful on cold... But I melted two cubes of it at a time, and it just didn't, it wasn't throwing for me. I tried it on my hot plate, and I tried it on light bulb. I, I don't know. I may try it again just because it's so beautiful on cold that I might try it again on maybe a tea light warmer and see if that helps a little bit. Because I honestly love that scent that much. Uh, Savvy Scent Co. Pistachio Dream Cake, just your basic, uh, pistachio scent. That was about a medium throw, and I, I don't think I would repurchase. Um, I finished these two together. 
Ice London Biscotti and Strawberry Crumble from Destination Wax. I did half and half in my kitchen. This is a nice, nice bakery. Stra ice, uh, strawberry Lemon Bakery scent. It's gorgeous. The Strawberry Crumble was kind of like a mouthwatery, savory scent, while the Ice Lemon Biscotti just brought that like kind of like sophistication to it a little bit. I know that sounds ridiculous to say about a bakery, but this was really lovely together, and I would repurchase both of those in a heartbeat. Um, another one from, um, Small Kind Creations I finished. Wow, I didn't realize how much from the Scented Squirrel I finished. Breezy Cotton, Clean Cotton Juniper Breeze. This was so strong. Like, I ac actually put the whole scent shot in. I shouldn't have done that because it would have been fine with just half, maybe even a fourth, because this was actually really, really strong. Apple Mango Tango by Destination Wax. This was in my restroom. And this is Mac Apple Mango Fresh Greenery Citrus and Fabric Softener. Oh my god. Um, next time I make an order with her, which won't be, I don't know how long it's going to be until I make an order again, but I really have a lot of wax from her. I should totally do a Destination Wax collection video because good lord, that would take forever. Um, but this one was really nice, clean fabric. Um like a cleaner fabric softener scent. I love that one. And I'm normally not a huge laundry person, but I would definitely repurchase that one. Here is a, another sample from the Little Olive Tree Bayberry Jelly Donut. This was a nice uh, bakery scent. It, again, it was light, but that's just because it was a sample. I'm 100% sure that's why. Dr. Pepper by Small Kind Creations. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> I didn't realize I finished a lot. Um, currently have these three going. Beach Sage and Mint, Tobacco Flower, and Copper Coconut. I love all of these. Copper or, um, Copper Coconut is always strong. Tobacco Flower, eh. And Beach Sage and Mint is beautiful, but Tobacco Flower I wish would be stronger, but when I can smell it, I love it. I love that in a candle too. Okay, Green Smoothie by Destination, or I'm sorry, Designer Wax. Fresh Cut Kale, Crisp Citrus, Fruity Pear, Light and Decadent Florals. This is gorgeous. I love this one. It's a fresh, clean, and it has like a slight like perfumey note to it. I love that one. Cranberry Pear Bellini, which is a Bath and Body Works dupe. Um, this one was nice. It was kind of light, so I probably would not repurchase that one. Um, Belladonna Tincture by The Bathing Garden. Yeah. Black Pepper, Patchouli, Vevedere, and Sandalwood. This was actually really, really strong. It wasn't my type of scent, though, and I'm, I think it might be from the Black Pepper. I'm not sure. Because I love Sandalwood and Patchouli, but this just was too, too strong for me. Which is a good thing. I know strong wax is good, but it just wasn't for me, personally. Um... I finished Oregon Coast. I mixed this with a lot of other scents, but it just seems like I finished this one before um, I finished the other ones. But this one is a really beautiful um, scent. Fresh ocean air, salty seaweed, sea spray, beach flowers, and driftwood um, to mix with other scents. It's beautiful, and it would be beautiful on its own, too. I would repurchase that in a heartbeat. Dancing Leaves by Barrett's Wax Crafts. Um, this one is... Um, Sorry, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Another dupe for leaves from Bath and Body Works. Love this one, too. Would re would repurchase that one. Florida Refresher. This is a scent that actually I had one in a giveaway. I created this scent. It was lavender, lemonade, and acai berry. This was really gorgeous. I It was really, really good. It's not the strongest, but it was a very beautiful scent. Vanilla Cupcakes, Jelly Bean Frosting, Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Uh, buttercream frosting waffle, raspberry and burnt sugar. This was just a nice fruity um, bakery scent. I mixed these two together because I like to mix and match her scent shots. Just because I have so many of them, I want to try, you know, uh, getting through them. Rainy Spring Day. This was, mmm, this one's lovely. And I don't know the scent notes on it. This is just something I could see, like, honestly melting on a rainy day fresh and clean beautiful scent 
Um, I finished the, these two today. Orange and Lime Cooler, beautiful scent. These two are also scents that mix, mix really well with other scents. I love these two. Um, very strong, very beautiful, nice fruity scents. Pistachio Pudding Cake from Destination. One of my favorite pistachio pudding uh, cake scents. It's so good. Would definitely repurchase. Orange Chiffon Cake. Oh my god. This is so good. I love this. And it reminds me of something and I cannot remember. If I remember, I'll have to post it because I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But Orange Chiffon Cake is so gorgeous. I love that one. Last but not least, this was my personal favorite of the whole melting um, empties from August 28th to September 11th. This was my all-time favorite of this or of this empties was It Super Tarts Orange Zest Frosted Pumpkin Roll and Buttery Brown Sugar. Now, when I first got this, I was like, ew, this kind of is ugh, ugh, bakery. You know, I'm not a huge fan of bakery. This scent, melting. You only need, I, I started with two, but after a while I only started using one because it got, it was really strong, but this is so perfect. This just screams fall to me. I love it. I love it. You get the orange zest with like a spicy cinnamony, um, note to it. I love this. I am, it's on my list cause I'm trying not to buy right now cause I'm going on a trip in a couple of, of days and like nine days. I'm trying not to buy any wax right now because one, I don't need it, and two, I'm trying to save my money. So, but when I do rebuy, which will be sometime in like late October, this is on my list to get again. And that doesn't happen too, too often. Um, the only time that's really happened is with the Lost Boys because I'm trying to try all of Super Tarts. But this one is on my list for rebuy because I want to have some for um, November to melt around like Thanksgiving time. This is thebomb.com. So if you guys like uh, bakery, like cinnamony type scents, I highly recommend you try this one. Alright guys, well that is my um, August 28th to September 11th empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry it was a little quick, but as always, running out of time. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Catch you next time.